So time taken to calculate the factorial 5 should be much more than that of factorial 6 calculation. Okay. So for 5 factorial, it is taking 3.437 millisecond, whereas for the 6 factorial, it is just taking 0 0.26 millisecond. So see how difference could be made when you are using the CAS. Hey guys, so today we are going to understand what is memoization concept in JavaScript. So it is one of the optimization technique in JavaScript where we want to speed up the function execution by storing the resulting cache for the expensive calculation. For an example, let's say you want to calculate the factorial numbers. So for 5 factorial, we are going to compute the result and then we are going to store into cache. For the next time, when you want to compute the uh, factorial of 6, then simply we are going to do 6 into factorial 5 and factorial 5 result is already stored in cache. So we are simply going to multiply 6 into whatever we have stored in the cache. So let's create one function called function memoize factorial okay let's declare one empty dictionary okay so we can call it as cas let's return a new function called get factorial okay so this will take a number right in and here we are going to write the logic okay so we are going to call this function recursively so the first thing we are going to check if n is less than zero in that case we are going to return undefined okay then we are going to check if n is equal to is equal to zero or n is equal to is equal to 1 in those cases we are going to return 1 now we all know how cas work okay so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to check inside cas so inside this cas we are going to store key value pair okay so key is going to be the number and value is going to be the factorial of that number okay so we are going to check if cas of n so let's log one line called console.log fetching from cas 4 and we can give the number so something like this okay and then we can return cas of n okay now this is when we have a cas value okay but for the first time we won't have the cas value so what you have to do here is let's write one console.log and say that calculating factorial for uh, we can give the number right so uh, simply like this and we can write cas of n is equal to n into and then we can call this function again okay so this is how recursion work right here we are going to pass as n minus one cas of n okay you can also log the uh storing of uh, factorials <coughs> so for the five factorial it will store the result of five factorial four factorial three factorial and two factorial okay so let me just write one console statement here console.log and we can say factorial for let's give the number n okay is stored as then we can log the cas okay of and here all right now let's say const factorial is equal to we are going to call this function okay here and then let's say console dot log factorial and let's pass five here okay so for the first time you won't be getting this uh, console dot log because we have nothing stored in the cas okay? so let's execute and see what we are getting so if you see it is saying calculating for factorial 5 calculating for factorial 4 3 and 2 and then factorial for 2 is just stored as 2 factorial for 3 is just stored as 6 5 is just stored as 120 and this is the final result you are getting 120 which is the factorial of 5 okay now if i want to execute factorial of 6 are we going to get all these things again no for factorial of 6 you will be directly getting it from the cas where you go so it is calculating up to factorial 5 okay and then for factorial 6 it is saying fetching from cas for 5 factor and then factorial of 6 is stored as 720 and then it is storing factorial of 6 again into the cache so that when you try it for the next time factorial 6 can be used and finally it is returning you the result as 720 you can see the performance also so let me just try to show you how much time we are actually consuming for finding the factorial 5 and for 6 okay so we can write console dot time okay and uh, here after calculating the factorial 5 let's uh, stop this uh, it's it's kind of a stopwatch okay so we can write time and now before calculating the factorial 6 let me just write this again console.time okay and then let's use this after calculating the factorial of 6 so time taken to calculate the factorial 5 should be much more than that of factorial 6 calculation okay so for 5 factorial it is taking 3.437 millisecond whereas for the 6 factorial it is just taking 0 0.26 millisecond so see how difference could be made when you are using the cache so that's pretty much guys uh, we'll meet up in the next video till then bye bye take care.